Well, hi there, boys and girls. Oh. We knew you were coming, so we're standing in front of the cameras. <laughs> And we didn't bake a cake. Sometimes today. we aren't, and the yeah. guys get haughty with us, and we deserve it when they yell at us like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> stag party. Yeah, we're having a bachelor party today. What, do you think we're going to bring in a bunch of deer, male deer? I'm going to make something called polpatini. I say that again. Polpatini. Polpatini, you're what? Meatballs. Oh. Meatballs, oh. Italian meatballs. Well, Perfect for a party mm -hmm. of any kind. And different than those old low-down Swedish meatballs that you've been eating for 40 years. I was waiting. I was going to throw that up in your face. Because I you hate know. Swedish I know meatballs. You, you know that. But these are real tasty because they have marjoram in them. Marjoram. Uh-huh. What kind? Is Blue Bonnet or one of those things? No, 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 no. This oh, stuff. Oh. This stuff. <laughs> Here, you want to smell some of it? Huh? Uh-oh. I think you're in the wrong one. Oh, uh, uh, yes. You, anyway. And I'm doing fried scampi, the recipe of which was sent in by our little friend uh, Dorothy Plymail, out in or Deborah. Sorry, sorry, Dorothy or Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Brain Whatever your name damage. is, Deborah. That's a terrible thing. Plymail. She's been writing to us for years. Good lady, and she sent these uh, uh, recipes to us, and we picked this one to do. So Deborah, this is your recipe. Well, and I Dorothy, we love you too, but I'm sorry we got you confused. That's now you our know. Old friend. Uh, not anybody in TV land knows this, but I'm going to tell you anyway, just show you how things go sometimes. This was not supposed to be my recipe today. I was <laughs> supposed to be doing something with, with eggplant on today's show. There's just one problem. There is not an eggplant in the entire uh, state of Virginia, much less uh, we're, well, we're probably located. Well, probably anywhere, you know, uh, as we are taping this show, and it is on tape, of course, we're not Oh, is it live. really? I thought no, it was we're live. we're not out there right with well, you Well, you feel Honolulu, live. And uh, in Nome, Alaska, and some of those other places, I'm sorry, <laughs> but, uh, we hate to tell you, but this is taped in Virginia. But uh, as we've taped it, we have come through some fierce and inclement weather uh -huh. all over the East Coast, particularly in the South, down there with all our pals in Florida, and it froze everything you got, didn't it? including the egg pan, egg pan, the egg plat, the green beans, and my new lips. <laughs> you need to have those things retreaded. Oh, they've been retreaded oh, so many okay. times they won't take it again. <laughs> Meatballs, that's what oh, I'm going to make. Okay. Does, is yours a real long recipe or a real uh, short recipe? It, no, well, it's tedious. So let me just tell you what I'm going to do. I'm heating up some oil to a fiery hot oh, temperature. Oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> Why don't you just crawl under the counter? Well, I gotta I see. I Johnson? gotta see what it looks like. I'll swear. Oh, let me get it turned down here. All right, I'm heating up oil. You know, you were supposed to fill out that form they have here at the TV station for what when is you're that? gonna, like when you're gonna bend down or move out of the camera, so they'll know that in advance. You oh, see. I see. There's a form I'm sorry, for that. I didn't now. understand. But anyway. Well, anyway, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> What's he gonna do? I forgot I got to get the shrimp. There are some people in Florida who told our program director that he didn't think we knew what we were going to do whenever we got on the air. And he says, that's true. That's part they of the don't. charm of the program. Well, I mean, why? I thought it was real nice of our program yeah, director to say to that. To defend don't us you? and say that. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know what's going on all the time. But no, I mean, we don't. do you know everything that's going on in your house? Do you know what your children are doing right now? I'll tell you. Well, you don't have to get personal sight. about it. Oh, they got some high powered plastic wrap on this thing that defies belief. I forgot, anyway, these I are some... I forgot to comb my hair before I got on, so I just took care of it. Yours looks right ratty today, too. Oh, I know. I need a haircut real oh, bad, but God, I can't look at get, this ratty hairdo. But I can't look get down to Mr. Steve, Mr. our barber, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> to, get, to get my hair cut. I don't have oh. time to go with... Oh, you dry, tear it up. Why don't you? <laughs> well, Good grief. It's bad enough. Somebody came in here since we were here last time and stole all of the paper towels. And now I've broke the These. paper towel holder. And now he just broke the arm off in it. There it is. That's much better. All right. Well, I got Go all ahead. these shrimps. And after Larry starts, we'll come back. And I'm going to start peeling them. And I'm going to deep fry them in this fiery hot oil and then make a delicious sauce to go on them. Hit it, Larry. OK. The first thing I got to do is take just a little bit of milk, which comes in strange containers these days, and put it on a fiery <laughs> hot fire. About a, what is it, about a quarter of a cup, third of a cup. It'd be nice if I looked at the recipe once in a while, but uh, <clears throat> I didn't. Then we need to take a little bread crumb. I, yo, I got one. I need a fork, too. Some bread crumbs. I have this old leftover uh, 
uh, English muffin. And I'm just going to take Is it. Is that one I made last That's week? That's what I... Huh? Is that one I made last week? No. Oh. No, no it has nothing to do with they anything so you've good, ever they've done. They've all been consumed immediately. Oh, excuse well, me. <laughs> blow us up. One now, what time. I got to do is just take little tiny bits and pieces of it there and throw it in there. You can use just plain old white bread if you want to. I'm just using leftover stuff, and I've done this, and it worked out real well. So, anyway, whoops, that's right big piece. Someone's going to get a big wad of bread in their meatball. Well, what can you do about it? And take about a whole one. I'm putting that on a hot fire. While you're doing all this, you, you may be wanting to heat up some oil on another pan because you're going to have to fry these meatballs very fast once you get the breading on the outside of them. And I'll show you all that in a minute. So I have that warming up on the other one. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this to a quick boil. <coughs> and what you do is you take your fork and you make a mush out of this. I beg your pardon. Make a mush. My should do about nothing. Gosh, this whole thing is hot. Hey, hey, hey. These people are sarcastic down here today. You know, I watched our show last week. It's the noisiest bunch of people I've ever I listened know, to in my really life. Somebody, this is a true story, somebody was watching this show with me and says, what is all that junk in the background? And I said, that's no junk. That's Tommy that's Woods. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Trash, <laughs> maybe, but not junk. All right. <laughs> Why is this so hot? I There's something know. here so hot I can't get my hands on it. Is the grill on? If it is, it's going to melt the end of my... Yes, it is on. How could it, it be on? No, it isn't. It, it is isn't on. What? Fool. <laughs> well, what you got to do is mash this up into a pup. A pulp. P-U-L-P, -P, but they pronounce it pup here in the city. From whence we come. And you get that so that it's a nice mush. It doesn't look very good, but that's what you got to do. Now, take that and turn it off. The reason you got to turn it off and set it off is let it cool a little bit. Otherwise, when you stick your hands down in this, and you will in a few minutes, you will burn your hands completely off of your body. So put that over there and let that cool for just a couple of minutes while we start the rest of this. But I'll tell you what, before I start the rest of this, Mr. Johnson has this important message. Thank you, Mr. Bly. Please remember, do not smack your grandmother. No, wait, that's, not the, that's not the message you're supposed oh, to I'm have. Sorry. I thought you had maybe wanted to show them what you were doing. Well, I, I do. Well, what are you doing? Now, what I'm doing is I'm peeling these shrimps. Oh. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you about, if you've never done this at home, and there are lots of people that haven't, they're real easy to peel, but they do leave a bad odor, a malodorous scent. A malodor. On your... On your um, Fingers, thank you so much. How do you devein them, by the way? Are you, you deveining them? Yeah, you? I'm just reaching in here. You want to show people and how you devein them? This is devein. <laughs> this is the knife. <laughs> and there's the camera, and right. the, over here is the pan. Now, all you do is you go down in here, and you, and you just kind of open it up right here along the top, and you pull the vein out. I'll show you how. Again, ooh, and they're nasty. They'll get stuck <laughs> all over you. Let me pick out one of these big fat ones here. You just pull her little legs off. Now hold There's a subtle cue from the floor. <laughs> I just feel that we've lost control of this entire we have. operation. <laughs> we have. I don't think we ever had control, all to be right, honest now, with you. And top you it all off, my VCR sharp blew little up. Knife, and you just cut him right down the back thing. Yeah! And then you look in here, and you cut in about an eighth of an inch, and here is the vein. <laughs> And you lift it out. Is that the vein or the mother load? I can't remember. Oh. 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 And you pull out that little vein. And sometimes you'll find it real easy, and sometimes you won't. That one didn't have much of a vein. So I'm. Didn't have much of a vein, did it? No. Oh, I think I said that. Anyway, I'll slice this. I'm washing my parsley if anyone's interested. I don't think anybody is. Oh, something just fell. That well, was you know flipper. that grouchy old lady that used to write it about how I didn't wash the oh, parsley. No. She's now, interested. When you get through with this recipe, your hands are going to be corrupt. They're going to smell real bad. And these shells, you need to throw these in the disposal just as quick as you can because they're going to smell so bad. 
Well, uh, Laban, I, if you I think put them in your garbage. Well, spend a little less time talking about the negative aspect. Well, of, I mean, uh, shrimp are delicious, but they they do have this terrible uh, odor if uh, you let it uh, go. Uh, hmm. So, ooh, that parsley smells. Well, is that all you're gonna do? That's. I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I'll make the sauce up here in a few minutes, but right now I'm just peeling and frying. All right. Here's what we do. We take a, a pound of lean ground beef. And we're gonna, you know, no, I, I can't get it open. It's been hermetically sealed. Put that in there. You're gonna have to work this stuff with your hands, so make sure your hands are good and clean like Uncle Lair's are right now, okay? Now what we've done is we've about a tablespoon full of finely chopped yellow onion. Put that in there. That's a little more than it's supposed to be, but I don't really care. I love lots of onion, I don't care. Uh, about a tablespoon of chopped parsley, which I just washed and chopped up. One egg. Boom. Uh, a little bit of this, how do you pronounce this? Is this marjoram? Mm -hmm. Marjoram. Marjoram. A little bit of it, just ever so gently. And three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. You can either make it freshly ground, or you can have a fresh can, like I'm going to do. Oh boy, that did work real well. <laughs> Normally you open these and, and this little thing pops out and this like stays on top. Three tablespoons. Well, I guess I'll have to go out and buy some more at the station's expense. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever seen anybody open a can like that. Well, I'm sorry. We're yeah. supposed to have a little spoon or something there. I'll just put that back on. No one will ever know the difference. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we won't get to buy another can of it. A little pepper. It says fresh ground. I forgot to bring my fresh pepper. My pepper mill. I'm sorry. I'm just going to use some regular. There's no regular. Let me have some of, of yours, please. Which is probably some of mine anyway, so. No, it's been here. I Has swear. it been here? Well, that's what I mean. I mean, some that we use together. Just put some of that in there. Peppy it up real good. I like lots of pepper. Here you go. Now, get your hands. Oh, yeah, and you gotta put this in there too. See, you take all this stuff now that you've done. This is, they call this the bread mush. And you scrape all that out, put it down in there too. It's gonna give you a little base, sort of hold this thing together. I need to do a little better job scraping that out. And now what you're gonna do is work this ever so delicately. Work it. With your fingers. Squeeze it around. Try not to mush it up too much. Just sort of work it around so that all the flavoring goes through the entire thing. Now, what we're doing, yes, a little salt. Thank you, Doris. Just a little salt. Poof. Put that in there, too. Make sure you get it all mixed up so that your onions and your pepper, your marjoram, and all that stuff gets mixed up real good. Now, what we're going to do now that we've done that is we're going to take some breadcrumbs, unflavored, plain breadcrumbs, and just got stuff on my hands. Excuse me. Just dump some on the counter. Let's get that back again. At least it's clean. Dump some of that on the counter because what you're going to do is you're going to roll these things in the breadcrumbs. Roll with roll the them. Baby. Heat your now heat your oil up real hot because you're going to have to brown these real fast so they'll stay together. Roll them about like that and dredge them through like this and this. Continue that process until you use them all up. And then in a couple of minutes, what we'll do is we will, you will put them in something and cook them for about 25 minutes on a low heat with some tomato sauce. And I'll show you how it comes out. Now, Johnson, it's back to you. Well, thank you, Larry. <laughs> Mr. Bombastic. Mm -hmm. I think I'm grateful for it. <laughs> These shrimp are just cooking up real beautiful. Well, they smell good. Yes, they do. And uh, they cook real fast this way. You can kind of tell when they're done. They're, 
they just get real shrimp colored. And while that's going on, I'm going to now cut four cloves of garlic up into some small pieces here. And we're going to make the sauce that goes with this. And I have to have in this uh, little frying pan a half a cup of olive oil. Remember her, Popeye's famous girlfriend. Oh, there. Y'all are used to doing that mostly when you're leaning up against the car, aren't you? <laughs> what are you talking? What are you well, talking they, you about? know, they were they were giving me the ten minute signal, and they were going like this, you know. And it's usually when they got their hands over against the car, and the police are going like this. Huh? That's called the side ten. I don't think any of us are getting any of this, but that's oh, okay. It's, I'm sure it's fun. A lot. You, you get it out there, don't you? <laughs> they not only get it, they've got it. <laughs> now I'm taking these little shrimps out. Anyway, I got to heat up this uh, back here on the back burner. This half a cup of olive oil. Now, let me throw these shrimps down in here, and to that olive oil, I'm going to add this, uh, these four cloves of garlic that I have sliced up into little small bits and pieces. And then I'm going to throw in some oregano with it here in just a little bit. Uh, and some salt and pepper. How are we doing in there? We're doing fine. And I'm continuing, now let me tell you something, I don't always <laughs> devein these shrimp. I'll tell you the truth, I really don't. <laughs> Do you do it at home? Huh? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my friends. Oh, yeah. He does it at home. He does it. I was sitting around <laughs> last night deveining the shrimp and <laughs> talking to my neighbors, um, having a great time. I'm still rolling these things out in case anybody's oh, interested. Yeah, we're just thrilled to. Well, do you yeah, have it your takes heat? a while to do oh. this part of it. Well, you know the Cook sisters are here. While we're doing all this little slow stuff here, maybe we ought to bring them in. Well, I didn't know they were coming yeah, by. Yeah, and, well, what a and pleasure. maybe they could. Uh, Tell us a few little things here that we need to know about some instrument of death and torture that they have kept out there in their farm. Oh, sis, it's so good to be out here in the fresh air. Oh, it is, it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, I've brought something along to jog your memory. Let me get it here. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, I remember that. That's what Uncle I, Marvin used to do to tickle you with. I used to chase you around the house with that. Oh. Now, you know what that is, sis? I think the doctor used it when you were born. Right here, pulled me. Well, anyway, <laughs> when you have a, a, a pressure, pressure cooker. cooker with the cans in it, then you reach down there and you grab those hot cans out with that. Oh. And then when you need to open the can, you do this and it oh. opens them right up. It's wonderful. It's good for your arthritis, too. Yeah. yeah. You ought to know. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the Cook, Cook sisters. sisters. Well, I'm still peeling shrimp and frying it as fast as I can go, and my garlic is cooking. Now, when that garlic begins to turn just a little tad, I'm going to rip it right out of there or uh, take it right off the heat because you don't want to have burned garlic because it has Oh no, I've been told I can't say it, but another unpleasant uh, taste to it. All right, this stuff is hot. Can I put it in here? You go right ahead. I think it's it all be, yours. I think it may be just a tad bit hot. You got to be careful because you don't want to ruin yourself doing this. This this oil has to be very hot, so you got to be careful when you slip that in there. You don't want it to spatter out all over you or your cooking partner, because you and your cooking partner may get grumpy. Put those in there, and they got to be browned on all sides. Oh, excuse me. It is. <laughs> You're gonna put my eye out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. All right. And you roll them all out at one time, so you can put them all in at once, because you can't do this in stages. Well, I reckon you could, but it's not the best thing in the world to do. And the more you fry them on the outside, of course, the better the chances they're going to hold together when they cook for about 20 minutes in the sauce, which you're going to put them into here in a minute. There you go. And we'll just leave them there until it's time to turn them. That's pretty hot. They'll, they'll be ready to turn in just a few minutes. Doris, I'm going to need a bowl to put these in. Boy, these smell good. Oops. I have the ones I made up yesterday in here. And I'm going to be serving those in a nice little 
thing that you can keep hot at a party, any kind of party, stag party, whatever kind of party, and uh, it'll keep them warm. Here's your bowl. Thank you. Well, look at these little garlics just flying around in there. Mm -hmm. They look like little crazy little bugs. And they got just the, went over just a tad. You have to be careful. You don't want them, but they'll cool off here in a second. And I'm just about, I started out with a pound of shrimp. Deborah didn't tell us how many shrimps to do, so. But they were having a special on them at the shrimp store. Hey, you, uh, meatballs. Well, here you so. go. See, you turn them over. Oh, yeah. They're getting done real fast. You flip them over. It takes a little time to do that. Do them on the other side. And I'll show you what you do with them from there here in just a second as soon as they get them all flipped over. It doesn't matter whether they cook inside at this point because you're going to put them over top. You're going to put, add some tomato sauce to a pan, and you can either do it in an electric pan to keep it hot until you serve it the way I'm doing. And when you do it, it, it looks like this. Oh, how beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Just full of gorgeousness. And get a nice shot of that overhead so that all the folks at home can be amazed and tell their friends about it. There you go and just sort of turn them over once or twice in the sauce so they get sauce all over them. And that's that. And that's that. Is uh, the witch coming along anytime soon or do we want to have her Oh, in? I think she's coming. Oh! And we got to have the recipes too. Let me see what the oh, witch has got to right. say we'll today. do the, well, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you witch. All right, it says, hey guys, we're sending Aunt Flipper to the nursing home <laughs> next week. What can we cook for her before she goes to the land of oatmeal and prunes? <laughs> and it's from Billy Sue Bumpus in Maraschino, Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Sue Bumpus. Yeah. It's well, been a while since Billy it, Sue. It, we Let's look at our recipes. Right. The, the fried, fried scampi. scampi. You gotta have oil for deep frying, shrimp for frying, about a pound of it, a half a cup of olive oil, four minced garlic cloves, a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of oregano, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Yes, you do. And the pulpitini, third cup of milk, sliced for white bread, well, I see it, pound of lean green beef, tablespoon of chopped onion, tablespoon of chopped parsley, and egg, pinch of marjoram. Oh, and three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, vegetable oil, salt, freshly ground pepper, whoops, sorry about that, unflavored breadcrumbs, and a small can of the sauce du tomato. And that's it. All right, and now, you got them, they're ready to serve. Now, Yum. Bly, I've got my half a cup of olive oil, and I'm going to pour that over these fried shrimp. I need something to serve this Kong or something. With the garlic in it. And to that, I'm going to pepper them, maybe. Here we go. Ooh, put they look pepper. good. They sure do. And we're going to put just a little teeny tiny tad of salt. Oh, and some. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Fido there for a second. <laughs> oh, well, that looks good. I sure hope we get to eat it. Well, I think we might here. And <laughs> here we go. Oh, just come straight on. You'll be all right. Well, what a large serving dish. Well, it is. Ugh. Well, you see, this is like a chafing dish. Oh. This is to keep it hot. Oh, see? I see. Steam coming off it. That's what it's supposed to be all about, you see. So you can serve this at your pot tea. Well, now, lay it over there so nobody can see what we got over here. Let me. Huh? Huh? Well, don't get uptight about it. Ah, yeah, well, all right. You'll now, listen, it. Larry, take plenty of the shrimp because you know they come in here like the Mongol hordes. Everybody, just y'all, just keep your place when this show is over because we're eating. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let me try these de-veined and de-delicious uh, shrimp. Mmm, mmm. They are wonderful. This is one of my favorite dishes anyway, so I mm. expected myself to love these things. Aren't they oh. good? Mmm, these are fabulous. Goodness gracious, what, we've got meatballs? Meatballs we, are? Mm -hmm. We have gotten stuff here that's so good, it's a crime. Well, I swanny, and considering that this is just a substitution. Mmm, 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 mmm. Some of the best meatballs I ever had in my life. Some I've had meatballs everywhere, but these are wonderful. These shrimps are out of this world. They're heaven on earth. Mmm. 
We have a wonderful meal, and you're right. First staff member that comes on this side of the cameras. Ow. Yeah, that's right. In the kisser. But anyway. <laughs> See you soon. Well, yeah, you all take care and come back again. We hope.